What would you say is the best horror anime? In terms of like, not in terms of scariness, but in terms of what the genre has to offer. Entertainment? Yeah. Another. <laughs> 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 no, another, I didn't even find another funny. I, just found, I, another. I found it fucking funny, <laughs> man. <laughs> Holy shit, those last two episodes. Oh, the oh. last two episodes are oh so Oh my great. God, that's the last two episodes. The, the last two episodes of another is a horror classic. <laughs> my mind. Doesn't everyone because- always recommend, um, what's it fucking called in Japanese? Uh, one? Shiki? Shiki, Shiki's Shiki. normally one. Shiki's good. The, yeah. Uh, when they cry in English. Oh, Higurashi. Yeah, Higurashi. Yeah, I recommend yeah like Higurashi. Horror, well, right? Higurashi's good for the first two seasons. And then from season three, it just turns into a slice of life. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't actually finish Higurashi. I've only watched the first season, which mm. is bad. I know because all the answers come in like the second season. Two, season. Yeah. I also did a oopsie and watched it dubbed, uh, which again <laughs> turned it, which again turned it into turned a comedy. Into a comedy yeah. Because the main character sounds just like fucking Sonic. I don't know why or how they did hey, that. What's with the baseball bats, huh? <laughs> why is everyone dying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, 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 is there even a good horror anime? I would say, because. I personally love horror anime. I'm gonna Google the top 10 horror anime. I would say personally, it's a tie between Mononoke and Magnetic Rose. I've Mononoke not seen Magnetic horror? Rose. So, huh? Mononoke is a horror? Not Mononoke, not Princess Mononoke. Oh, I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, one. I, was I like, mean, bro, Princess Mononoke cooking? can get fucked as well, okay, to yeah. be fair. <laughs> Wait, what's the top one? Tokyo <laughs> Ghoul. <laughs> Bruh! Bruh! Okay. Who made this list? Go on, go. Like, f- this is go like Google's, it. this is Google's suggested Okay, horror. okay, So okay. Google's- So we got Tokyo ho- Gold. Elf and Leard. Elf and Leard, uh. Parasite? No. No, no. that's an action. No. Anything with dubstep automatically is disqualified yeah. from horror. <laughs> yeah. Another. Yeah. Shiki. Sure. Yeah. Devilman Crybaby, which is- uh, It's kind of horrific. Kinda. Kinda. Corpse Party. Oh, yeah, I watched that. That's just gross. All right, here's the, here's the one. High School of the Dead. <laughs> All right, on, I found attack, my new favorite horror anime, on, boys. Attack on High Titan. School of the Dead. Attack on Bro. Titan. Attack on Titan. Death, that has like- Death Note, Dead Man Wonderland. A lot of, a lot of what you're okay. saying is like, how they have horror elements. Yeah. Like, I definitely see the horror elements Dog. in something like Attack on Titan Dog. and let's say Tokyo well, Ghoul. This is not a promising start to the list. So this is IGN's top 10 best horror anime of all time. And yeah. the picture they chose to, 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 to you know, show the list is a fucking death note. <laughs> okay, so oh, the, this is IGN's, the absolute IGN, state of horror IGN's anime. IGN's top 10 best anime <laughs> horror of all time. It was posted in October, 2022, updated uh, two months ago, two okay, days ago. Two okay, days ago. Well, okay. Let's see, let's, let's run some right now. Theater of Darkness. Oh, Yami Shibai. Yeah. Yami Shibai is actually okay, like, okay. yeah, it's, it's it's creepy. It's, it's okay. It's, 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 well, like, it's horror at least. It's it's the queen bee of horror yeah. anime. You know what I mean? If Number you, nine, his... Tokyo Ghoul. Ah! <laughs> is Tokyo Why? Ghoul a horror? Like, no. I feel like it's not even- It's it's like a horror for like the first mm. five minutes. And then it's yeah. just like, show an action show, yeah. let's Eight, go. Devilman Crybaby according to okay. IGN. Sure. It's number seven, Paranoia Agent. Oh, uh, yeah, I would I would label I would, that more as a psychological. psychological. But yeah, yeah. Six, Parasite. No. Hi, Jim, what are you on? Five, Helsing. Helsing is more no. action. Than- no, it's more action, yeah. That was nothing that horrified me about that. Four, Perfect Blue. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I would actually yes. say yes. 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 Again, number more on th- the psychological number aspect. Three, never heard of this one, Boogie Pop Phantom. Boogie oh, Pop Phantom that's... is, I wouldn't, it's psychological. I wouldn't call that. It's more of a thriller. Yeah. Two, Higurashi. Yeah. Number one, Death Note. Number, <laughs> number Death Note is the best, according to IGN, <laughs> the best horror anime. Oh, anime oh, that hurts me. Okay, if anyone ever says Death Note to me, I'm like, yeah, of course I know the best horror anime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that from now on. High School of the Dead. Okay. <laughs> High school Dude, the there's got to be a better rant. Okay, so- No, no there isn't. There I've, isn't. I've, I've looked into this yeah. because I'm like, there must be some good horror anime. And it a lot of times, it just, it just doesn't exist. It okay, just- so legit, like as someone who's seen like all those on the list, <laughs> regardless of if they're horror or not, yeah. but like most horror anime, I would still say Mononoke and Magnetic Rose. Like Mononoke is like, I feel Mononoke is 
what it would feel like if they actually made a, a good Junjito adaptation. Okay. Right. Where it's like, it has the same like subtleties and quietness of Junjito. It's not necessarily scary. It's just super fucking unsettling. Yeah. Because it's like really quiet and really <clears throat> like, not I wouldn't say slow, but it definitely takes its time. Yeah. And like the concepts are really scary. Um, and then Magnetic Rose is like a short film that was, I think spearheaded by Ultima Katsuhiro. Um, the creator of Akira, but yeah. it's essentially think of perfect blue in space. <laughs> That's all you needed to say, <laughs> baby. Let's it's, go. It's literally take the art and animation of Akira and the concept of perfect blue in space, and you have that magnetic rose. Sick. It's fucking awesome. That sounds sick. Yeah, and it's super quick. It's like it's like a forty minute short film, but it's awesome. I okay. would heavily okay. heavily recommend it if you like horror. Yeah, I because saw, oh, right. go yeah go for it. I'm, I'm looking. Into I was on Twitter the other day and mm. I saw a, like a gif of like a really old ass anime. Mm. I thought, damn, that was sick. Which one? And so I went to the comments mm. and they were like, oh no no, no don't watch it. What, what is uh, it? And then someone replied to them being like, this this anime is banned in Norway for child pornography. <laughs> and I was like, because I won't watch it then. Is it Midori? <laughs> it was Kite. Oh, oh Kite. Yeah, Kite. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's a hentai. Oh, it's a hentai. Yeah. Uh, and that's also been adapted into a Samuel Jackson live action film as yeah, well, right? It has. Yeah, yes. yeah. I uh, I had to watch both when I did my review for Kite a while <laughs> Is it back. Up? Uh it's I can see why it got banned back in the day because I think it came out in the late nineties, I believe. Um It was just like it was one of those moments where I was like, This looks cool, opens the replies. Oh god. Yeah, uh it's, not, it's uh the, the anime so so the, the, the anime is is super short, it's like two episodes or something. Uh, but it got banned in a lot of countries because of that reason reason um and then yeah i mean it's it's well animated it's a really well animated <laughs> show and the concept is interesting but just the execution had wasn't then, had to put yeah. that one scene in there huh? yeah i mean there's a there's a all ages version as well um without oh, without the sex scenes oh, and everything okay. yeah, yeah. yeah but the, i think it's the one with the sex scenes that got banned oh okay because of those reasons well, it's nice that they removed the one without it so and then watch it. for some fucking reason samuel jackson was like I'm gonna turn that into a live action. Was it actually him who wanted to do it? He's in it. There's yeah, no he's, way, yeah, but okay, but it wasn't I him. don't know if it was Spielberg yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't him. him like, hey guys, I got this great idea. <laughs> like, but they, they they literally heard that Samuel Jackson likes hentai. Yeah, they yeah, were like, like, hey, yo, you wanna be in this? And he's like, yeah. yeah. I, he likes, I, I don't think he would like that hentai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I had to watch that as well for the review and uh, it's dog shit. It's wow. really bad. Um, Which one, the both? The, the live action. Is the anime good? The anime I think is decent. Again, no, it has no. a really interesting concept. So the, the concept is that like the, the main girl has this weapon where mm -hmm. it, it's a gun, but the bullets explode on impact. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what I saw. The, I saw a gif of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So of like the bullet going in, and then they explode, <laughs> and basically it's like the girl looking for her. Uh, basically, it's like the it's it's kind of like a Batman story, mm, essentially. Yeah. Of like the girl's parents got killed by this unknown organization, she's and yeah. she's on the hunt to like kill the killers. Yeah. Um. And so the concept is cool, but it's just like the ending is super fucking weird. Again, I, there's I, that like weird problem I, with I, like the R18 version. I feel like, like this yeah. happens so often with stuff I like mm -hmm. in anime where I'm like, this is sick. And then I just find out that it's like, like, you know, Golden Boy where we watched like yeah. a few episodes ago. Mm. Yeah. I love that show. And then I saw all the replies to the comments being like, yeah, it's a shame about the manga though. And I was like, what do you, <laughs> what, what happened? What happened in the manga? <gasps> Apparently he gets like the fucking golden showered and like kidnapped and just turned into a full on porno. And I was like, what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? Of course. It wasn't the anime I watched. <laughs> like, what, why? And then I'm like, oh, well, this thing looks cool. It's like, oh yeah, it's cool. Well, you're a pedo now. And I'm yeah. like, what the? F I just wanted to you're, watch something you, cool. You're a porn addict. Yeah, yeah. You're a porn addict. Get off, get off porn up now. Like, I just wanted to watch, I wanted to watch some, I, when I find stuff that's old, I'm like, this looks cool. Yeah. And then I find out that like everything anime that's cool and old is like all fucked up. It's like, haha, you literally, you actually watch porn. <laughs> Which is it's surprisingly like, accurate for a lot of, especially like, what older I, shows. What, yeah. I, like, uh, yeah. what, what was going on in the nineties, dude? Yeah. What was, like, what was Japan dude, the, going the through? The nineties OVA like era, they were all unhinged. Yeah. There's it's, so many shows that came out. There were just out. so many shows that came out in the 90s that were just like, I couldn't see why anime had this underground kind of aura mm. around it. Cause you could just discover like this grossly <laughs> like- <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a oh. lot of it was like just an overabundance of violence and gore and like over sexualized you shit. You know what's the best horror anime? What? Geno Cyber. <laughs> <laughs> Joey. Well, oh my God. <laughs> Don't watch that. It's, it's, it sucks. It's crazy how now it feels like, 
Like, every, you know, you have, like, redo of a healer on that weird shit in anime, yeah. and, and everyone's talking about how, like, dude, it's so fucked up. It's so gross. It feels like, damn, I mean, I feel like we really fucking tamed down, though, compared to what we they, they were releasing nah, in I the think 90s. Redo of the healer, if, uh, of, uh, I think redo of a healer is worse, if I'm being honest. Really? You think so? I don't know. Just, like, I don't know. Is if it the, because it's, like, conceptually I, more fucked up? I, I, I will I, say, something to do with the art styles now, because they're way more, like, vibrant and, yeah. like, mm. soft, that it feels way... I don't know why when yeah. I watch this 90s shit and it's all grungy and it's all oh, dude. animated, like, yeah. it feels way grosser. Yeah. yeah. Way like worse, even though Reed of a Healer is like, well, fuck it's up, also disgusting. It's also because as well, like especially shows like, you know, like Geno Cyber or like yeah. Violence Jack or like any of the like really fucking gory 90s oh. horror anime. Yeah. The problem is, is yeah, one, it's less saturated. So it feels more like, Dark. They're always darker, less vibrant. Yeah, yeah. and, and like, also yeah, they're way fucking better animated. Yeah. Like, no, I, they are. Gino Cyber has this one scene where it's like 120 frames per second, guy's head exploding, and I'm yeah, like, this sick. is like too much detail. I'm probably it for a sick T-shirt. Though. That's it. Would yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, the, the the reason why I think uh, Redo of Healer is worse mm. is because you know viscerally, mm. you know, and I think the things that happened in 90s OVAs mm. are yes, more fucked up mm. on paper, but I feel like, I don't know. I read, no, I mean, I'm just, I mean, yeah, Read Over Healer is yeah. fucked. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that Read Over Healer wasn't show. fucked up, but like- No, no, no. Sure. I, the, the, thing, the, the thing that, the, the big reason why I just couldn't really get into Read Over Healer was mm. it was like just- Bro, Have you big, got into Read Over Healer? I'd question yeah. everything. Yeah, it, it was just like the biggest, this is just obviously the most like power trip. Yeah, in power fantasy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. incel fantasy. To, that you can get. Whereas mm. I, I look at a lot of 90s OVAs and I was like, yo, these animators are doing some sick stuff, yeah. man. Yeah. Of course it's fucked up. Of course it's like hyper violent and shit, but holy shit, someone was dedicated to their craft. Oh yeah, you know? definitely. And in Redo of Healer, it's just like, all right, let's just take the most incel power fancy you can possibly get. And uh, of course, you know, I don't really take it seriously because yeah. it's just so far yeah, in the field yeah, that yeah. I'm just like, I just don't it even take- It was just comedic for me. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, it's, it's right? It's like just funny. Exactly, right? Yeah. It just, it just, I just could not take that shit yeah. seriously at all. So what you you're know? saying is, if Read of a Healer was as well animated as Geno Cyber, <laughs> you would hate it less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is, I would rather Read of a Healer just be a hentai than yeah, pretend to have true. a plot. That's you know, true. I, I, I would rather it just be a hentai. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely, genuinely, <laughs> yeah. you know, oh I like, like I, I would generally rather Read of a Healer just be its own thing, have a hentai. <laughs> How is it that if Read of a Healer was a hentai, I'd feel less guilty to watch it? <laughs> I, How does that make sense? Because it <laughs> pretends like it has a plot. Yeah. That's the thing, right? That's It pretends like there is character development and there is an ongoing <laughs> plot line. And that's the thing that bothered me the most about Redo of a Healer. That's like, brought, was, it's, that's like if I was trying to watch Rants on like Crunchyroll. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's like, yeah, it's yeah. like oh, no, yeah. this I'm shouldn't like, belong here. I'm like, come on, man. Who let's, are you kidding? Let's stop pretending here. <laughs> let's stop pretending. All right, either go all the way or just don't, don't, like, don't do it at all. Don't do yeah. it at all. You know? that's, I that's agree, awesome. I agree.